Admissions into the intensive care unit because of COVID-19 are on the rise in Yellowknife. Four patients have required ICU since September 17th. Stanton Territorial Hospital has six ICU beds, up from the regular four. Uh, it you know, continues to challenge our healthcare system uh, with uh, not only the, the beds for people in, but the expertise to, to deal with that. So our, our, uh, our staffing resources continue to be uh, stretched quite thin. In a press conference yesterday, officials announced stricter gathering limits in hopes of reducing the number of new cases. COVID activity in Yellowknife impacts them greatly. People travel to hub communities and then back home for a variety of reasons and needs. Our office is aware of introduction of COVID-19 in at least five small communities after travel from Yellowknife. Chief Public Health Officer Dr. Cami Candola says close to 60% of active cases are in Yellowknife and surrounding area. 23 NWT residents have been hospitalized, which includes nine ICU admissions since mid-August. Two NWT residents have died in the past month. NWT depends on Alberta for the care of the sickest NWT residents and its intensive care capacity is being stretched. As doctors and nurses handle the surge of hospitalized COVID-19 patients, they're facing yet another challenge. Issues with the distribution for oxygen within the building and limits on the total volume of oxygen that can be given in each area of the hospital at one time. According to the territory's press release, High flow oxygen devices are used to assist COVID-19 patients to breathe. Hospital staff are moving towards treatments that use less oxygen than that of a ventilator and keeping an eye on the situation. Charlotte Moore Jacobs, APTN National News, Yellowknife.